Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is a very preliminary video. This will not be ready for uh, a while because in order to manufacture it, I'd like to, to have a Kickstarter to fund it to see if there's actually interest out there for it because it's not uh, a cheap module to assemble. This is the uh, Engineering Shock Electronics uh, Sensor Learning Board. And what it's what what's on the board is... Uh, Microphone, light sensor, vibration sensor, magnetic sensor, rather, uh, reed switch, uh, and a, an infrared sensor so you can speak with your remote control for your TV. Now, on top of that, a PIR module that will come with the board plugs in right here, and that bad boy comes on a cable so you can um, detect motion in a room. And lastly, uh, hopefully, if the Kickstarter goes well, uh, I'll be implementing the thermistor, and the thermistor would plug in right here. I imagine I'll sell units, again, if the Kickstarter goes well, uh, that have the external thermistor that plug in here, and there will be another note on the board to actually control it. So a thermistor is basically a heat sensor, a temperature sensor to a degree. And uh, what, this, what I'll be doing is, if you've not seen my electronic learning board, which has 20 plus projects, uh, this borrows some of the concepts, but... Uh, is much more uh, broken down and it's Arduino compatible. It's actually compatible with basic stamp, uh, PIC, ARM, Arduino, 5 volt outputs, uh, there's a power bar, a uh, comparator bar for uh, operational amplifier comparators, uh, a main output bar that has a whole bunch of different functions which I'll talk about uh, later on as I actually make the videos and as I create the instructable, a PIR plugin, a thermistor plug-in, which is not being implemented currently, and this this is the very this is the prototype that I've just put together now, and of course this is the uh, this is the sensor selector. So on the sensor selector, as is right now, there's microphone MIC LDR for light sensor, light dependent resistor, VIV for vibration sensor, and uh, mag for magnetic sensor or reed switch right here. So in this video, just to show you uh, one project and to give you an idea of how I'm going to be making my little tutorial videos, I'm going to show you how we're just going to use these plugins to make the board do a whole bunch of different things. So right now we're just going to amplify sound and then we're going to, once we've amplified it to the level that we want, we can adjust sensitivity with these potentiometers, variable resistors, uh, we can set off uh, a monostable multivibrator based on a 555, which, may, which is uh, basically uh, a pulse width thinner, so you can turn one tiny pulse into a very long pulse if you want. And of course, there all the outputs can be fed directly to your Arduino board. So let me give you a quick demonstration of the circuit that we're going to be playing with. For this project, we're going to use three blocks. We're going to use our microphone circuit, a non-inverting operational amplifier, and the LED block, and a 555. Uh, timer and monostable mode. Now we'll get to these step by step. Uh, I have tutorials for all of these. If you want to check out my channel, they are for uh, I made the tutorials for the uh, main uh, electronic learning board. So just check out my channel if you're interested. Anyhow, this is the mic circuit. When you use the the, the two pin jumper to select microphone, you you basically basically be selecting the 10k resistor uh, in series with the microphone and ground a coupling capacitor and a 10k bleeder resistor and of course and this will be actually a pin on the board called the AC pin. I'll get to that in a second. Now what we have here is basically it's kind of acting like a voltage divider in a sense. Uh, if we measured right here what we would see is we'd see about 5 volts because it's being powered by 5 volts and when you spoke into the mic you'd see a little bit of ripple riding the 5 volt line. And that's what this capacitor is for. That's a 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor. And this is acting to block the DC component. And on the other side of that capacitor, we see 0 volts. And the audio is coupled across. So we see plus, we see the same audio signal riding the 5 volt, except for we've gotten rid of the DC component. And now we've got uh, basically the audio wave riding the 0 volt line. So we can consider this a little AC pulse. That's mimicking what is being spoken into the mic, but it's a very, very, very small voltage, um, very small, uh, typically less than 10 millivolts unless you're yelling in it. 
this bleeder resistor is basically just bleeding off any extra uh, power that's that's sitting there at any given time. If we don't have this, then we're just going to see we're going to have very skewed results on the AC line. So that's just basically draining off excess power when the mic is not in use. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take this, the AC pin, and use one of our wires and connect to the A1 Plus pin. The A1 Plus is the uh, first positive input. We have two operational amplifiers on the board. This is the first one. We've got two connectors that, uh, that are uh, related to it, and that's A1 Plus, which is the positive input, and A1 Out, which is the uh, first operational amplifier output. Again, it's non-inverting. So, we can adjust the gain uh, using this variable resistor, and that's actually called gain 1 on the board. It's actually called the gain 1 potentiometer. It's blue. We'll get to it in just a second when I actually show the circuit to you on the board. Uh, now, I have a full description of how non-operational, uh, non-inverting operational amplifiers work. Uh, I will list the tutorial below when I have a second. Uh, you can adjust the gain between roughly 1 and 100. Roughly, there is a calculation. I'm just not going to do it here because I'm trying to breeze through this, just so you get an idea of what you're working with here. So, tuning this with a screwdriver, we can make, uh, we can turn this uh, very, very small voltage into, let's say this is 5 volts. This is 0 volts. We can, tune to, we can make it bigger up until 5 volts where it saturates. So we can yell into it. We're not going to get a square wave. We could turn it into a square wave, but we're not going to. That's just going to complicate things right now. So basically what we want to do is turn this little voltage into this. And this will still be uh, relative to the audio signal, except for it'll be bigger. And we can actually use it when it's bigger. So just to test it, we're going to connect our A1 output to our LED. And that operational amplifier output will power a red LED on board. This is a current limiting resistor, a 470 ohm current limiting resistor. So at this point, once we've made those two connections, we can basically power the unit on and we can fiddle with this uh, gain resistor, which again allows for you to, it's a multiplier, look at it as a multiplier. Uh, we can make our output very sensitive or not very sensitive at all. And the LED will light up based on how loud we are and based on the gain. From there, what we can do what we can do, we don't have to do this, you can plug this into your Arduino board, or if you want to make a neater circuit, the 555 timer in monostable mode basically turns, it can turn this, a single little single pulse, into a square wave. Except, we can make that square wave longer, or we can make it shorter based on the DLY variable resistor. Now this is on board too, it's one of the resistors on the board, variable resistors, we can tune it with the screwdriver. So we can make, whenever we make a really loud sound, we can turn that, we can make a pulse that's really short or really, really long. And again, we'll, we'll play with that in a minute. So what we're gonna do is connect our A1 output pin to our in pin. And this, there is a much more, uh, much more intricate tutorial, I'll list this below as well, just so you can get an idea of how the actual circuit works. Um, so whenever we make a loud sound, after we've calibrated it, it will activate this. So it will activate our pulse, which we will see at the DLY output. The DLY output pin, of course, is labeled on the board. We can, we can connect that back to our LED pin. And so if we say, hey, that LED will turn on fully until the delay has elapsed. So let's try this on the board. Just to show you where everything is again, our microphone is here. We want to make sure that our two-pin jumper is uh, shorted on the two pins labeled MIC for mic. The uh, gain one resistor, or variable resistor, is right here. This will allow for us to tune sensitivity. And our DLY, our delay for our monostable multivibrator, is right here. It's labeled on the board DLY. So now I'm going to take one of these connectors, and I'm going to look for the uh, AC pin on the board and that is right here and I'm going to connect it to the A1 plus pin 
So now, my microphone circuit is connected to the input of the amplifier. The A1 out pin, right here, can go to our LED pin. Now our LED is right here, and when I power it up, I'm actually going to turn it on its side so you can see the LED a little bit better. I'm going to connect to the LED pin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up by plugging in the 9 volt 1 amp included AC adapter. It will be included if I actually end up publishing this unit. Pending the Kickstarter, of course. Kickstarter I'll hopefully have up in about two weeks. Okay, so let's just try talking really loud. Hello! 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 So now, what I can do is, I mean, it's not lighting up when I'm just talking in normal volume. It's only lighting up when I say, Hello! Hello! So now what I can do, so I can take my screwdriver and I can adjust the gain one resistor. Hello, hello. And I can turn it right to make it more sensitive. See now it's lighting up when I'm just talking normal normally. And if I put my face really close to the mic, hello, hello, hello. My name is Patrick. Hello, hello. Or I can turn it way down just by continually turning that resistor left. And now, now it's not lighting up at all. Hello, 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 hello! There we go. So right now the gain is not amplifying that AC signal coming from the microphone as much. If I keep turning it left, uh, it will be extremely unsensitive. Now this would be nice for clap applications. And we'll do that in a second. See, if I clap right now, it's got very low sensitivity. There we go. But if I had it on high sensitivity, it would pick that up big time. It would pick me up talking from back here. So, what I've done now is I have, I have that's the out, out, that's that is the output, the output of the amplifier. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to take that, the output of the amplifier, from the LED to the in pin, which is the input of our monostable multi vibrator. Now I'm going to take the DLY output from the 555 timer. It's a little bit difficult for me to see from this perspective, so please just bear with me. And we'll connect that to our LED. So let's clap. Now you see how long that pulse was? So what if I take the DLY, see I set it off again, I'm going to be quiet here. I'm going to turn the DLY pin potentiometer left. So you see that, that pulse duration is very, very short. Now if I turn it right a little bit. I'm not using the best screwdriver for this job. It's a little bit longer. And I'm setting it off because I'm hitting the board and it's picking up that sound. So again, I've turned it a few more times and just... And if I want to make it really long, I'll just keep turning it right. And I can make it way longer than that if I want to. Again. So again, all of these outputs can be connected to your Arduino. It can be, tech, can, it can be just used just to learn. You don't need to interface this with anything to learn something because I will be I will be referencing the tutorial videos. I will be making many different projects with it. Again, there is uh, um, many there there will be a total of seven sensors on this board. I might be able to create some add-ons down the road, but this is just an introduction video. So it will come with the board by default with an AC adapter and depending on options a PIR sensor and a thermistor that plugs in with a long cable so you could excuse me measure uh, temperature so that's it I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you found it semi uh, educational I will be linking those tutorials below uh, 
and that will lead you of course to the learning board which is a previous board that I have made with 20 plus projects this is just the bare bones but it concentrates specifically on sensors there's a lot more functions on the board of course I'm not going to get all to all of them just an introductory video thanks a lot for watching guys I sincerely appreciate it um, I uh, hope you check me out in the next few weeks to see if my Kickstarter is up and if you are you'll be getting some great prices on these uh, I just need to get the funds together to have them manufactured and manufactured properly. Thanks for watching everyone.